All right, guys. So I'm just going to put a box together real quick. I've got a few things I've set up here. One, got out the wood glue. Uh, just got a little dollop here. I'm just going to use my finger to spread it around. It doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, and I don't, I don't mind getting a little ne messy. I do have a paper towel so I can wipe off as I'm doing each one. So <clears throat> right here, I do have my side pieces with the hole already cut. And I wanna make sure I've got those aligned so that here you can see it's the same length as this bottom plate, okay? So make sure, because if I flip it this way, all right, it's not gonna work. It's a little bit short. All right, so I want to make sure that whenever I put the side on the bottom, it runs that full length. Now, so that when I start gluing, I've drawn these little arrows. This is pointing towards the back, pointing towards the back. So I know I can place those on the two outsides and my holes will be in alignment there. All right, just in case I didn't get them uh, perfectly in the same spot. If I flip this around, okay, uh, you can see right there, the holes are not in perfect alignment. So it does matter which way these two plates are facing. Because when I put them like this, now, now they're in good alignment. So I want to place these two right there, uh, just like that. So I've got my arrows. I know those will be the two outsides and pointing towards me. So first thing, I've already got my tape laid across the bottom just three strips, all right? And that's gonna help hold the box in place. I'm just take my finger and run a little line of glue down this edge, okay? All right, so I got it. Okay, so take my side piece, arrow pointing towards me, so it should sit just like this. I'm gonna get that in its place. All right, I'm just gonna take my tape. All right, and that'll kind of help hold it. Okay. <clears throat> so then I'm gonna get my back piece. All right. So back piece right here, take a little bit of glue, just like before, run a bead. All right, and I'm not, I'm not too worried about that excess right there because uh, it'll dry clear and it won't matter just a whole lot. So now that I've got that bead run, I'm gonna take my back plate. Oh, I need to run one up my side right here as well. At each point of contact. Okay. All right, so now both sides will have glue on them. Okay, nice fit up. All right. Making sure the top fits nicely right there. Take my tape, kind of help hold it in place. All right, and then I've got some other strips. I'm gonna put one right here. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's get this next side glued up. Right. And this is pretty much the process I'm gonna do. Now, I will make sure once I get this piece into place. I do want to make sure that my axle rod is going to keep uh, going to 
go through the two holes. So I do want to get this in place and then give that a little test. All right, so the side arrow, all right, make sure I've already noted it, it's pointing towards the back. So get that into place. Okay. Hold my tape up. Get one along my side. Okay, taking the time to tape it up like this to hold it in place is gonna give us a nice solid structure. But I wanna take my axle rod and just fit there. Okay, but there we go. The holes are in good alignment. I just need to kind of drill them out a little bit larger so that it'll wiggle around, okay? Uh, but the last thing I'm gonna do is put a bead around the entire top and then get my tape on it. I'm gonna leave that axle in there. All right, kind of has some extra support while everything dries. Oh, there it goes. Got plenty of glue now. Okay. Now on your top, you should probably already have your following uh, holes drilled out, but I do not. I'm gonna place my top. All right, make sure the sides are all nicely done. And then to hold it in place, I'm put my tape over each edge here. And that is all we got to do. And there is the box. You guys have a great day. All right. Uh, well, I will add once the tape is kind of holding in place, it does need to dry, but it, the tape should have a good enough hold if you're gentle. I'm push that back out a little bit, make sure. I like the way that's all fitting up. Check all my edges. Not perfect, but it's good enough. And there's my automaton box. My axle still spinning. I like it. Okay. But once it's in place like that, I wouldn't be trying to mess with it a whole lot, but you can kind of fit uh, some of your parts to see what that's going to look like. Okay. You guys have. A great day. I need to figure out how to.